Hello everyone, welcome to one more video. In this video, it's going to be very simple. I'm going to talk about the water cycle of the water. It's for especially for primary students, but even though you are in high school, you can watch this to have a better understanding about water cycle. Okay, so water cycle is the continuous movement of water on, above, and below the surface of Earth. So all the water that exists on Earth, they exist for a long, long time, and they have been uh, recycling over and over and over. Okay, so this continuous movement of the water by passing from liquid to gas to solid and so on, and we call it water cycle. Okay, so the water cycle, it has four main phases. The first phase I'm going to talk about is going to be the evaporation. It's when the water passes from liquid to gas. The second one is the condensation. It's when we form uh, the clouds because the water vapor that's in the uh, uh, atmosphere, it turns again into liquid. And when the clouds are too heavy, it falls down in precipitation or the rain. And when they come back to the surface, it turns, it accumulates in rivers, in seas, in lakes. And we call this accumulation when the water comes back to the surface. So what happens in the evaporation? During evaporation, the sun provides the heat for the water to turn from liquid to gas, forming the vapor gas. So this is evaporation when the water turns in from liquid to water vapor or gas. This gas is slight, so it goes up in the surface and accumulates in the atmosphere. When it goes up, the atmosphere is colder, so this water vapor turns back into liquid, liquid forming the clouds. This process we call condensation. So when the water vapor, that is a gas, uh, touch a surface that is colder, so turns back to liquid forming the clouds. When the clouds are too, too heavy, when the, there are a lot of water in the clouds, the air cannot sustain anymore, so it falls down into rain that we call precipitation. When the, this water, li, li, this water uh, in the liquid form falls down again, uh, coming to the surface of the earth. But if the, the atmosphere is too cold, this uh, liquid, this water, liquid water, can turn into solid, form the snow, and that uh, falls down into solid state because it's too cold. If, so if it's too cold, below zero degrees, instead of turning, falling down in the liquid form, it fall, falls down in solid form as snow. And when it falls down, it accumulates again in the surface and accumulates in the rivers, in the oceans, in the lakes. And this process we call accumulation. So when the, the water turns back to the surface and accumulates again in the rivers, lakes of our oceans. Okay, so when it turns up again and restart all the cycle. So in summary, we have evaporation that the water turns from liquid to gas, then condensation, that the gas turns back into liquid, forming the clouds. When the clouds are too heavy, it falls down, it forms a precipitation. Then this water that's falling down accumulates in all the surface, then we call accumulation, okay? So let's test now if you understood, if you memorize all the process. So what's the first process I'm, I'm showing you here? This is the process of when the water turns from liquid to gas. This is evaporation, very good. After, when the vapor gas goes up in the atmosphere, 
and then it's called forming the clouds again, forming liquid again. This process is called condensation. After that, if the clouds are too heavy, it falls down in the form of precipitation. That can be the rain or the snow, for example. And when all the water comes back to the surface, we accumulate. So it's the process of accumulation. So very good. So first, evaporation, liquid to gas, condensation, gas to liquid, precipitation, just water falling down, and accumulation, the water accumulates again in the surface. Okay? Okay, so that's it. That's very simple. Thank you so much for watching here. If you're not subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel to not lose any other new videos that I'm preparing every week about science, math, experiments, okay? And thanks so much for watching.